just really quickly, I wanted to show you what the uh, menu looks like right now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, on with the episode. Hey folks, Red Falcon here, and this is episode 4 of my Let's Play Black Mesa series. In our last episode, we uh, fought our way through a, um, a puzzle and uh, came up here on the other side of Maintenance D475KL and we are on our way to get to the surface to find help. And we just hit a loading screen. But yeah, so far though, I have been just, I mean, in awe of everything. Like, they've exceeded my expectations for this mod in every way. And they've even done some things I wouldn't have imagined. Ah, famous elevator scene. Alright, well, let's clear these boxes up. Headcrab. No sense wasting precious bullets on these guys. I mean, come on, that's two bullets we can use on something else. Alright, now can we get in here? This is probably bulletproof glass. Yeah, I can't get in there. Pity, though, there's a health station back there. You gotta wonder, like... How many of these places I can actually get to? Hmm. Oh! I think I can get there. Hold on. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. Now we're talking. Which is good because I need to top my health off. I don't think I've ever played through Half Life with 100% uh, health and 100% armor. Like something always happens. Which I like it, you know, it adds tension to the game, like I mentioned before. Something you don't get nowadays with all these video games with regenerating health and all that nonsense. Alright, got some bullets. Got my health. that thing's dead. Ha! Huh. I like it. It's a little Easter egg muck, uh, mug. Alright, so anything we can do here? How many bolts did I get? Oh, I've got 67. That's, that's good. We don't want to run out of bullets, that's for sure. Now here's the next question. How do we get out of here? Hmm. Okay. That's a problem. Okay. This is metagaming, but I don't think the developers would have... Um... Oh, here we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Had to open my eyes. Oh, okay, so that was actually necessary to... Um activate this thing. Okay. Yeah, that's something that uh, wasn't in the original. Okay, well, there were a lot of things that weren't in the original, so... Okay, looks like we've got some electrified water. Oh, here come the head crabs. And you can usually dodge them. Ow. Usually. Ah, oh, come on, really? Oh, crap. Where are they coming from? Crap. Well, at least in the original, you could dodge most of them. Ah, crap. Ah, I'm getting torn to shreds here. Okay, that was stupid. I really should have been using my gun. Ooh, 
Ooh, what's this? Ah, energy. Excellent. This is exactly what I need. And you wouldn't happen to have a first aid station? Of course you don't have a first aid station here. Figures. Bullets, though. Okay. Alright, well, no health stations, so there's not a whole lot I can do here. Alright. That's weird, and I wonder where all the headcrabs went. These crates in the first game, they used to drop uh, like health packs and all kinds of goodies, but it looks like they're mostly all empty. Oh, health station. Perfect. Okay, so it looks like each one of these um, files here is 50% health. Okay, it's a good place to save. Yeah, we're in a really good place right now, though. 60 health and uh, 75 armor. Or suit power. Rarely happens. Now, I'm curious. Here's a guard. All right, we're doing real well on ammo now. 150. All right, and yeah, you're gonna have to. Pardon me, I'm an explorer. I like to like explore every nook and cranny. So if you guys don't like that, I'm sorry. It's just my play style. I hate it when people when just uh. Blaze, blast through something. Alright. If I miss anything, let me know in the comments below. It's always good for, uh... Oh. No! Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, I remember this part. They never, in the first game, they never show you, like, how this happened. I got bullets to spare. I can spare two to take out one of those guys. Oh crap. No! Ow. Oh, I hate jumping puzzles. I really hope they don't have that stupid, like, crate jumping puzzle. That was in the first one. Come on. Okay. Okay. And see, I have to do the stupid, uh, crouch jump every time. Crowbar is good to use in close quarters like this. Unless you're down a long uh, tunnel, then you want to use your pistol. Okay, nothing up there. Always check the grates, see if you can break them. 
Okay, now this drops me off right here, but I wonder where this one leads me to. That's a one-way door. Let's see where this one goes. Okay, I guess it didn't matter which one. Oh, this one doesn't have the uh, the battery charger indicator. Interesting. Ah, health pack. Alright, we get to see a little natural selection here. Oh crap. Warning. Hazardous chemical detected. Okay. We know what they do now. They spit. I forgot what the proper name for those. We just call them spitters for now. I think we got them. Let's see. Yep, we got them. Fast thinking with that barrel, that explosive barrel right there. Took them right out. That's why I love this game. It's a thinking man's first-person shooter. It's not like, you know, Call of Duty where you just go around, like, guns blazing. Not that there's anything wrong with Call of Duty. Like, I've played the first one. Or, uh, first Modern Warfare. But it's just, I don't know, this is just, like, refreshing gameplay. Like, I prefer, um, you know, games where you can use the environment and use your head. Alright. So we gotta cross this canal here. Oh, and avoid those. God, I, I I'm still I still can't get over the fact that I'm actually playing this right now. Ah, oh, it's amazing. And it's just it's so beautiful, it's so smooth, and just everything just uh, it just it has a a beautiful professional touch you know and and you can tell that the developers really cared about this project Ooh. <laughs> 100 percent okay let's see how long I can keep my suit at 100 percent power it's probably not gonna last very long. Um, for those who are curious, um, your suit power is basically your armor. So the higher your suit power, the more you're protected. Oh, are those little cockroaches? Hey, little cockroaches. How about that? Alright. 100 health, 100 armor. Nice. Yeah, I guess I'll use suit power and armor interchangeably in this Let's Play. <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing. Hey, this had toiletries in it. Nice. That's what I loved about the first Half-Life. You'd break crates and it'd have, like, junk in them. Alright, so let's see. Alright, we're now on the other side of the canal. Deadhead crabs. Explosive barrels. Those will come in handy. And this is an explosive box. Okay, nothing over here. All right. And we're gonna push this exploding box somewhere. Put it right here. And we're gonna keep this exploding barrel far away from that one. I may need these in the future, depending on what comes out. Alright. Because it's a lot easier to shoot two rounds into an exploding barrel than it is to uh, waste a clip on one of these things. Well, I doubt it's a, a whole clip, but... Oh. Nothing up here. Figures. All right, then, let's head up here. And 
frame rate just dropped a little bit. Oh, they kept this. They kept the stupid jumping puzzle. Ah, hate this jumping puzzle. The bane of my existence. It's a stupid jumping puzzle. Uh, okay, let's see. Alright, well, let's man up and do this stupid jumping puzzle. Ah, crap. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, cool, it, it, it'll let me skip this. Nope. You will do the jumping puzzle. I wasn't sprinting. Crap. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, there we go. Alright. Okay, and I'm not going to be able to make that one, so I've got to... No, 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 no. Oh, so close. I hate these jumping puzzles. Seriously, first-person shooters should not have jumping puzzles. I'm just saying. If you're going to have a jumping puzzle, at least have the option to do uh, a third-person view. Maybe I can do this really fast. Oh, I say that, and then I die horribly. All right. Okay. All right. Quick save. Alright. Hate that room. Hate it. I wish they had omitted it from this mod, but I understand. They wanted to preserve the uh, integrity of the game and all that, and that's over and behind us now. Though I wonder, I wonder what kind of a meeting that was. You know, I bet they, like, discussed that for, like, a, a week or so. It's like... Because I'm sure... I could see both sides of the argument. Like, for gameplay purposes, they'd want to take it out, but for the fact... What's black and white and should be red all over? Oh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I got no problem pulling those things full of holes. They're a lot more deadly now in this one. But yeah, they probably had like a... a talked about that for a while. It's like, well, what are we going to preserve and what are we going to change? Let's see what's over here first. I don't like that sound. Oh, cool. A box full of crap. I like it. All right. Oh, crap. hate those things. Oh, there was an explosive thing right here. I could have used that. Not using my environment. I could have saved a lot of uh, ammunition that way. Oh, well. Ooh, what's over here? Health pack? I don't need that. But I guess I could hoard them in the corner or something. Throw that in there. I think this is the elevator that's going to transition to the next level, so I'm curious to see if uh, stuff like that's going to um, move over or not. Exploding barrel. Why not? Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, yeah, I think we're done with this part. All right. Let's go to the office. Which is one of my favorite levels early on in the game. Uh, so what do you guys think of the Let's Play so far? I'm really jazzed about this game. I love it. I, 
Now, the entire game isn't finished yet. It's, um, it's pretty much like all the stuff up to Zen is complete. So we won't be able to beat the game on this Let's Play. So, well, or, unless the developers, um, oh cool, it saved my, my stuff. Nice, okay. Quick save here. Hello. Who's there? It's Gordon Freeman. Let me in. Let me in, you idiot. Okay. This place is full of idiots. All right. Okay, developer, dev offices, executive lounge, storage halls. Work harder, not smarter. What? Uh, no. I don't believe in that philosophy. Hundred and fifty rounds. I wonder what the max capacity, carrying capacity is for these things. Shut that power off. Oh, Gordon. If I had known it was you, I would have let you in. Really? Everybody's heading for the surface, but I think they're crazy. If we stay put, someone is bound to come and rescue us. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Okay, you, you keep believing that. Um, I'm going to go to the surface now and save myself. I'm not gonna sit around and wait for a rescue party. Will we ever make it out of here? Oh wait, can you come with me? I urge you to reconsider. There's plenty of sustenance, beverages, and scintillating conversation right here. Okay, can you follow me? You're heading out there? By yourself? May God have mercy on your soul. I'm staying here. I don't want the chance missing the evacuation team. Alright, well. Good luck. I'm gonna leave these doors wide open. Oh. These doors close? Ah, the health pack that was back there. If I remember correctly, these restore 25 health? Something to that effect? And I should be able to open this door later, so we'll just keep these right here. Alright, well I guess we're just gonna have to go through here then. Switch to the old crowbar. I'll go ahead and it's back here anyway. Hmm. Nothing really back there. Might need that barrel for something later. Wait, oh, so you mean to tell me there's nothing back here? Okay, well, I guess, uh, all right. I guess we have to uh, break through that glass then to get to the um, office. I never take the easy solutions to anything. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. 
here. We have a room full of electricity and water. Another locked door. Alright, good to go. Another locked door. Let's see what's back here. Yeah, so much for saving ammunition. Oh, and I got some back. Okay, so it looks like my maximum is 150, so I shouldn't worry too much about conserving ammo at this point. All right. I think one of the reasons I like this level is because it's just so creepy. Oh, sprinkler system. Great. Alright. Oh, crap. There's more of them. And the flashlight doesn't have a battery indicator anymore, so I guess I can just use it as much as I want. Okay, there's some flares. And another clip. Hey! Hey, over here! Hey, what's One up? One of these little buggers latched onto my buddy's head. We gotta get that thing off before... Thanks. I owe you one. Uh, here, let me get this open. Thank I, uh, you. I got some supplies in the back. If you want, uh, go take a look-see. See what you can carry. All right. Oh. Double tap. Okay, so it looks like we've got a first aid kit. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes. My favorite gun. Oh, man. It's a thing of beauty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy now. I'm happy. So I got my favorite gun. I love revolvers. They're my favorite weapon. Don't worry, sir. Sir, I'll keep you covered. All right. Boom. Boom. Oh, look at that reload animation. Beautiful. Ah, uh, okay. All right, I'll hold down this spot. All right. Actually, I need to go back to the office. Um, actually, I'm going to end the video right here. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this... Does this vest make me look fat? No, it doesn't. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.